if you're considering getting an hotel scanner, I'm going to be breaking down to you the good, the bad and the ugly about these tools so that you either go ahead knowing what you're getting into or drop hotel entirely and look elsewhere. I have multiple hotel devices acquired several years ago and in that time I've done loads of tests, used them on different car brands, consumed a lot of resources around hotel and so I totally understand what the hotel ecosystem is about and in addition I own several other scan tool brands for a bit of cross-reference comparison. In case you're considering hotel it's time to find out whether this is for you or not. Now let's get this. I'll start with the good. Build is usually top notch. The user interface and software is well thought out. And as someone who has used multiple scan tools from other brands, there's a refinement you get in Autel that is missing in a lot of these other brands. I've used some other scanners where the software just feels rushed. In my experience, bugs have been minimal. In fact, I've never had to report any bugs to technical support. While I've had to do this on a number of times on X tool. Most important in all of this is that I've usually found that Autel does what it says on the team compared to other generic scanner manufacturers. However, in saying that, you have to be aware that there's no scan tool that does everything, but you can get a good sense of what an hotel scanner does from their online vehicle function coverage list. It's the most detailed and easiest tool to follow from all the manufacturers that I know, and I'll leave a link down below to the function coverage list. I always advise that you look it up, especially if the only reason why you want to buy that hotel is for a specific function. With that, we we move over to the bad. These are not necessarily deal breakers per se, but they may actually be for you if you have priority on any of these. My first is that pound for pound, hotel scan tools tend to run slower than some of other manufacturers. If you're coming from using X2 scanners, this is something you definitely notice right away. Something even more serious to consider is the cost of renewing your subscription. And this is where hotel has a lot of ground to catch up on. On some models, you may have to pay up to half the cost of the tool. That said, I've done a video on how to get the cheapest hotel license renewal. In some cases, you may be able to get up to 50% off. The other con to note here is that the latest hotel devices mostly ship with one year of free updates. This is something hotel should be moving away from, especially since competing brands now mostly ship with two years of free updates as standard. While most functions are going to work when you're out of a subscription, there are some that won't. Basically, if the function you want to use is done online, you may expect that that won't work except you have a subscription. You can check out the dedicated video I did on this subject and what doesn't work after your subscription expires and that brings me to the ugly. And I have to say that personally I haven't experienced this but given that I have too many comments on the channel with several users saying that when their subscription expired, their tool either stopped working or the software somehow got corrupt and the only way to fix it was to pay for a subscription. This is really really bad and if someone from Autel is watching, I highly recommend that you investigate this issue. This is why I've always asked anyone with an Autel device to make sure that they back up their tablet so that if you have any problems with your software, you can easily restore the device even if you're out of a subscription. My Autel has continued to work well without a subscription but it's just important to flag this given the amount of comments on this subject. Despite all this, is Autel still a good scanner? Absolutely. You just have to carefully consider these facts that I've laid before you and make an informed decision on whether to move ahead or not. I have some links and coupons down below just in case you're still considering Autel. Hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications if it has and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.